Let's take a minute to talk about 1116 frequency. Now this came to mind because I was honestly and deeply reflecting on the life I've led thus far. The traumas I've endured, the heartbreaks, okay? So this is an important frequency to understand. When we talk about 11, we're talking about one being interacting with another. So it's relational, it totals two. But it can also be one being mirroring another or serving as an example to another as to how that being navigates relationships in order to be able to witness externally our blind spots. Now let's get into what 16 is. 16 is the frequency of the Karen. It is a very difficult frequency. It is a frequency of a being that is riddled with trauma. And it can manifest in different ways. Some people, it is a higher frequency. Some people are going to be really reactionary, really high strung, um, and just overtly toxic because it totals seven, right? This is someone who lacks awareness typically of how trauma has truly impacted them, hence the Karen. These are people that have endured a lot in life. They're not just born this way. We can get into that, arguably. There are some people that are born malevolent, but typically, no, a Karen energy or someone in 16 frequency was made this way because of their trauma. Typically, um, we can talk about PTSD symptoms, right? When we talk about the nature of 16 frequency. And those who are actually born malevolent will typically occupy 17 frequency. Now, this is important to understand because it's also about how you're able to work through this, right? A lot of us have wounding, right? I've occupied 16 frequency. Oh, it's, it's tough. And you're so reactionary and you're just, you're so wounded that it creates just a, a palpable state of instability and toxicity, lack of trust, right? You have the goggles on of darkness in 16 frequency and rightfully so you've endured it, right? But what happens is, is you haven't processed it properly. You're not, you lack the awareness to understand it. So everything becomes it. Okay. A suspicious mind, right? And it takes a lot of work to work through this, right? Especially if you understand wounding. I see the world this way because I've been through A, B, and C, Okay, so it's, it's a gift and a curse. You gain awareness, but if you don't know how to use that awareness properly and you don't know how to do wound work and lean into opposite action, right? If you have a trust wound, choosing to intentionally trust, then you just become this reactionary, high-strung, toxic being that people don't want to be around. Very, very high rate of substance abuse in 16 frequency beings, and rightfully so. Right? When we talk about it being trauma, right? Um, but if it's stimulants, ooh, it's just going to exacerbate the high frequency, the high imbalance frequency that's already there. Because navigating the hell realm, the realm of darkness, because one in six total seven, right? In a state that lacks awareness while also abusing substances, which causes an imbalance as it is, right? Recipe for the disaster, truly. Now, when we total this sequence, right? So using my number system, we're going to first total one and one, which is two, right? And then we're going to total one and six, which is seven. So this gives us a new sequence to go through, which is 27. 27 is a number that indicates wounding, inner child wounding, or some sort of relational energy pulling in darkness, okay? Pulling in transformation, okay? Um, totaling nine, which is the number of endings, new beginnings, self-mastery. What this means is that when you are walking in 16 frequency, your wounds and everything you're actually afraid of, all the wounding and trauma you've already endured is serving as a magnet for more of that same energy. It's very hard um, because you're in such an imbalanced state energetically and you're so raw and you're so high strung and you're so mistrusting and so off balance and suspicious that you become a target for those darker energies, right? 
Um, it's very unfortunate energy to exist in. It's very difficult energy to exist in. But when you can start working toward self-mastery, when you can start doing the work you need to do and doing the wound mapping um, and gaining self-awareness and doing the inner work essentially that's needed and honing your, your addictive tendencies, right? And either completely cutting out or moderating your use of substances, right? And if you're using stimulants or something harder like that, right, opioids, that just needs to go completely. So there, there's no flexibility there, right? That's just a cesspool for darkness. But when you learn to do the work to master thyself, know thyself, understand how you relate to people, understand how you maneuver in relationships, this is how you grow, this is how you attain that nine cycle. And an additional sequence I want to throw into this video is 1655. So everything I just talked about relative to 16 stands true. Let's pair it with 55, the co-creative number relative to ego programming, right? The ego is what carries your wounds. The inner child or two is what is harmed, okay? The light that's dimmed, that's the Rama two. But the wounding itself is carried by a part of your psyche called the ego. This is the part of the psyche that carries your programming, okay? So... When you understand that and you, and you pair it as a co-creative energy, you are encountering. The universe is causing you to encounter and your wounding is serving as a magnet to attract connections to exacerbate those wounds with the intention of helping you break away from your current frequency and elevating to a new energetic space because the total of five and five is 10. This is spiritual achievement. This is a level up number. This is the number of growth, okay? So when we understand that and we total one and six, we get seven, and then five and five again is 10. We're talking about the level up in the realm of darkness. We're talking about the level up in the hell realm. We're talking about the level up as it relates to substance misuse. We're talking about the level up as it relates to toxic reactionary behavior. We're talking about the level up as it relates to, to all of this. When someone is in 16 frequency, people don't want to be around it. A lot of discards happen to people in 16 frequency, and it just exacerbates their wounding because, especially if it's abandon related, rejection related, okay, trust related. And when we total 7 and 10, we get 17. The number of working toward mastery in the realm of 7, working to attain the resonance of 8, that state of balance. Okay, so numerology is beautiful when you understand it. When you understand frequencies, you can better understand what you've endured. It's not personal. It's always frequency.